In this Kotlin on Android development tutorial, we're going to describe how you can implement picture in picture mode for the video during video playback. <laughs> Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name is Nigel. Okay, so moving on from the previous episode where we implemented the ExoPlayer to do video playback, now we're going to implement the new picture in picture mode, and this is on Android 8.0. So you have to have the one of the latest versions of Android to have this working. But basically, we're going to have it implementing. So when you press the home button the actual video playback when the application's playing back a video will decrease in its window size so you can switch to other applications while still having a small window of the video playing back okay so behind me we've got the um, episodes of this particular series which is the camera 2 video playback series so we're now on number seven so this will be the last of the free episodes that get uploaded to youtube um currently i'm working on at least one premium video as well okay and right and if you just what if you just want to learn how to do picture in picture and you don't want to go for all the camera 2 api episodes you can just get the code from git um, details will be there and members who do buy the uh, um, camera to Kotlin API product do get a video describing how you can get the code from git and get the code working on your Android project okay so we'll make a start and implement the picture in picture on our application so we do need to move across to our Android studio right in the side of Android studio we're going to need to go to Android um, uh, manifest file first and we just need to register for the um, for the picture and picture mode and so this will need to be done inside the activity that you want to support picture and picture and so in this side in this application we've already got one activity here so I'm just going to put it underneath the um, name activity name here so I'm first of all I'm going to put support resizable activity because the activity does get resized of course into a smaller window so we need to set that to true and I'm also going to call support picture and pitch mode make that true and one final thing will be the config changes and there's going to be a number of flags we're going to need to set here so screen size I just need to reference here. It's a smaller screen size. We need to pass all these flags across. And finally, we'll put in the, uh, not the orientation, screen size, smaller screen layout. So these are all the changes that you should need to make inside your Android manifest file. Now we're going to go into our view model and add a couple more values. So it's the camera view model. And we're going to add a couple more values. So one value is going to be a flag just to notify whether or not we're in video playback or we're playing a video. Okay, so I'll call it is video playing and set that as a default false. Now I'm going to create another value here and I'm going to call this aspect ratio. I'm going to set a type for that as rational to support our, it's a good way of supporting our um, aspect ratio for a video. I'm going to set that to null, make that nullable support there, and set that, makes it nullable support value. So this aspect ratio, we're actually going to have to pass to our picture and picture mode just so we can set it the aspect ratio of the video that's currently playing. If not, the picture and picture mode is going to use a default aspect ratio, which I think comes out in landscape mode. And the demonstration I'm going to give here is going to be in portrait mode. Okay, so now we can go into the ExoPlayer fragment and set our playing states. And we can set that when we start the ExoPlayer. Oh, I'm in the wrong. Start ExoPlayer. 
So start exoplar. When ready, we'll set our flag there. So it's a matter of calling our camera view model. Is video playing? We'll set that to true. And I'll paste that. And when we stop the exoplar, we reset it to false. So. Okay, so the flags have now been set. The status flags of the video play playback have now been set up for us. Now we'll set up our aspect ratio in our camera view model. So I just need to go to the top of this file. Um, let me close all these libraries. Right, so I want to add a listener. So basically I need to get the dimensions from our exoplar video, video being played. And to do that, I can add a listener. So it's a video listener here and then I just need to implement the methods in that I'm going to press alt enter implement members need to implement both of those um, so on rendered first I'm not going to do anything with that but inside here is where we can actually set up our aspect ratio in our camera view model so we'll call our camera view model aspect ratio and it's a matter of calling the rational which is a handy way of us getting the um, aspect setting the aspect ratio and just setting the width and the height from the on video size change callback okay so we've set up our video listener we well, we've created our video listener now we need to set the video listener or else it will never be called. So I'm going to do that inside the on start. And I'll just do it down here. So it's just calling simple exoplar. And we can add our video listener just by calling this. Okay, so that's all the implementation that we need to do in our exoplar fragment. We can now go into our main activity and actually set up the picture in picture mode. So inside my main activity, first thing I'm going to do is add a instance of our view model. So I'll call it the camera view model. We'll do it the same way as we've done it before using the Kotlin lazy delegate. Okay, so it'll be a matter of calling view model providers of and the activities of this, this activity, and get our. find it there there it is down here get the camera view model and we'll have to reference it the reference the Java class name okay that's now done directly below I'm going to call the picture and picture callback um, we're going to call back when we actually leave the activity so we can call on user leave hint so basically this will get called when we press the home button now I want to do a check to see if the video is currently playing. So we've got the flag for that. Is the video playing? So if the video is in playback, we can set up our picture in picture mode. So I need to create a value for parameters first. I'll just call it params. And it'll be a picture in picture mode params. And it's going to be the builder we need to create for that so you set up the initial parameters by calling this build up and I'm going to use the Kotlin apply just to set a value for that which will be to set aspect ratio here and to get the aspect ratio again we'll get it from our view model so we'll call our view model aspect ratio okay so the parameters are now set up so we can actually make a request to enter picture and picture mode by passing in our parameters and we will need to build those okay so I believe all the changes are now in place so let's run this um, record a video then play back that video using exoplar then see if we can enter picture in picture mode the applications now started let's I'm just gonna record the screen I know it's boring sorry about that so I'm just going to record it for a few seconds and we can stop that. Press on the icon thumbnail. We're doing video playback. I'm going to press the home button 
and there you can see we've got playback in the picture in picture mode so you can start whatever application you want and this little box will be displayed and you can drag it around and that's basically what video and picture picture and picture mode is and we can return by clicking once clicking twice and we're back in the application press back we can record another video if we want and that completes this tutorial of entering picture in picture mode while you're doing video playback. The video playback was done inside a fragment using the ExoPlayer, so we did have to monitor those states whether or not we were doing video playback, and we could share those states using the view model to the activity. And you basically request picture in picture mode from inside an activity and by setting it up in the Android manifest file. And so we put a listener on the when the user presses the home button during video playback and if the flag says yes we're playing back a video we make the request to go into picture and picture mode and we're also providing the aspect ratios from the exoplayer video itself so we wanted to override the default aspect ratios as well and so this is just a demonstration of how you can get picture and picture mode working of a video it just so happens that the video playback happens to be part of the uh, Kotlin camera to video playback application application which I think I think is fine anyway this concludes this tutorial if you want to get notified of the tutorials that I'll publish on YouTube don't forget to cl click on that subscribe button along with the little bell icon as well that needs to be pressed as well and I'm extremely busy I don't really have a chance to read or respond to YouTube technical questions but if you do really need to get hold of me I do provide that access through Code Mentor. there'll be a link above there and uh, a, a link to the details of how you can get hold of me on Code Mentor. but please note that is for paid time it's to free up my time I do ask you to pay for that time and that will be in the form of a paid session I've also got social media accounts in the form of Facebook and Twitter and the handle is above there as well anyway thank you for taking the time for watching this video bye for now